So what's considered normal wear and tear on a rental property? This is also good for tenants to know. So when a tenant moves out, assessing damage and the cost associated with it can be difficult. So as a renter, you're not responsible for normal wear and tear, but that's where things get murky. Here are general guidelines that help that will help you determine whether the damage to the rental property are caused by normal wear and tear. Stained carpets. Normal wear and tear generally include the following. Shoe markings in the main halls and walkways. Light stains, which are expected over a few years. And here's a pro tip for a landlord. Provide a provision within the lease that states that the tenant has to professionally or deep clean the carpets upon moving out. The second is scuffed walls. So minor markings on the walls that could be easily touched up would obviously be considered normal wear and tear, but items that, that would not be considered normal wear and tear are the following. Large nail holes, scrapes, or gouges in the wall. Pro tip for landlord, again, implement a provision within the lease that states that the tenants can't screw in, it put screws in the walls, nails in the walls, or anything of that nature. And the third is cracked tiles and broken hardware. Damages to these items can be a judgment call. Uh, one factor to consider is whether or not these items were new or old at the time of the lease. And the most controversial one is pets. When renting to tenants with pets, the landlord will actually require a pet agreement and ask for an additional $500 security deposit. The following are not considered normal wear and tear on a property. Pet stains, dug up yards, or any scratches or bite marks both on the interior and the exterior of the building. And lastly, dirt, dust, and grime. Did you know that you can charge a cleaning fee if you experience any of the following? Dirty or smelly bathrooms, grimy countertops, or a refrigerator that's left with a bunch of old expired food. If you found this video useful, please share it with a renter or landlord friend of yours. Thank you.